We are actually driving down south from uh, our backpacker place and then we are actually just stopping at every uh, stop that we find interesting. And hey, this is our fourth checkpoint, the southernmost point of Taiwan. Yo. The only thing that is uh, blocking us from getting off our transport is the parking. <laughs> Checkpoint for our road trip today. We are at the southernmost point of Taiwan now. Fourth checkpoint. Ta da! As you can see. Damn chill. Okay, we are done with the southernmost point of Taiwan. Uh, it's very, very hot. We just bought Pokari sweat from this random auntie who was very nice to us and her daughter as well. Anyway, we're heading to the lighthouse that's also quite nearby along the way back to the city. No, I don't know. It's crazy huge. Hi everyone, we are now here in Eluambi Park. Just about a stone's throw away from the southernmost point of Taiwan. Wow, this place is like Jurassic Park. This is a huge park. I've been to many different points of uh, along the water today, but this is by far the nicest view because of the elevated height. You can see it's very nice. We came from all the way there and then all the way there and then we came all the way down and then right now we're here. It's so beautiful. Boom! We are here! So beautiful this place. So beautiful. You know what will make this uh, a photo of this more chill? As the night approaches, we are here at Kenting. Uh, city itself and this is actually the main road with all the street stalls behind and you see yep so we are literally just standing by the main street uh, but the stalls are just here so Those birds up there are swallows. So cute. That's where they sleep at night, in the middle of the shopping street. I love parking here in tai Taiwan. It's like free everywhere. Free parking everywhere. That's the best thing about riding in hunting here. It's the end of day 4 here in Taiwan. Uh, our second day here in Kenting. It was a very fun day. We went to down south all the way and uh, we saw a lot, a lot of things and we had a great time. Right Gareth? I think what struck me the most today is when I went to the night market and I saw a lot of young people actually running stalls and it just occurred to me that actually, you know, 
when you are young, you should um, think about your future and do what makes you happy. Uh. I think that's what's very important. I think all the young people in Singapore, um, life is different there, but at the same time, they need to know that there's more to life than the life you're having in Singapore. Yeah. Okay, that's too much deepness for today. See you tomorrow. Subscribe to the channel and bye. bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs>